group and hundreds of others are trying to put a stop to the city's storytime event for kids at Albuquerque's main library, all because of who will be leading it. But the city says no matter how many complaints they get, this event will go on. News 13's Marissa Lucero is live at the library downtown with more on this controversy. Marissa? Dean, just for the first time, the main library is hosting Drag Queen Story Time. Now, the city helped put on this event for Pride Month, but some feel it's inappropriate. June is Pride Month. Other than the Pride Parade that kicked off festivities on Saturday, this year, the city announced a few other additions to the list to help celebrate the LGBTQ community, a new rainbow crosswalk in Knob Hill, and Drag Queen Storytime at the main library in downtown. This is the first time we've ever done Drag Queen Storytime sanctioned by the city. It's going to be so much fun. I hope people come out. Adrian Carver is the executive director at Equality New Mexico. He says they've been working with the city to bring this event to Albuquerque. Bunny Cruz and Vanessa Patricks, two well-known drag queens in Albuquerque, will lead the event. They're, they're just both a lot of fun to, to watch and be entertained by. But not everyone is thrilled. Pat Davis, an openly gay city councilor, says his office received more than 500 emails and faxes asking to cancel the event. We're not doing it. The faith-based group Family Policy Alliance of New Mexico addressed the event on its website with a headline that reads, Protect Kids from Drag Queen Story Time. They're urging people to call the library, demanding it cancel the event, calling it inappropriate. It if you don't want your kids to go to this, we'll give you free pool passes. There are lots of other things you can do in the city. But for a lot of families and a lot of kids, it matters an awful lot to see their family represented in our city and in our city places. And I think it's okay that we make something special for them. Therefore, the city says it won't be canceling any event this weekend. It's really sad and I, I, I wish that um, rather than um, using faith to discriminate, um, some of these groups would use their faith to support people of difference. Everyone is invited to attend this event. Again, it's this Saturday from 11 to noon here at the main library. Carver says he hopes to make this a regular event here. Back to you. Okay, Marissa, thank you. Now, we reached out to the Family Policy Alliance of New Mexico. A spokesperson says their executive director was out of state, but would provide a statement we so far have not gotten one.